Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of the giant mole and the goal for this video is to make as much money as possible in a time span of 10 hours and hopefully obtain the pet because I really do like this pet. You know, the drop rate is 1 in 3,000 and I already have over a thousand kill counts so I really hope I get the pet here. That would certainly make this video much better so let's hope for the best ladies and gentlemen but either way, let's see how much money we can make in a time span of 10 hours. Starting kill count for this one's going to be 1,012. Didn't really ever come back to this after I did loot from 1,000 about three years ago. But now that we're running the 10-hour series, I am coming back to certain bosses that I've already done on the channel. And I hope you guys don't mind that too much because in my eyes, you know, I, I still have opportunities to get more pets. And profit is profit no matter what. Definitely have made a lot of profit these last two weeks because of these loot videos. So let's hope tonight goes the same way. Uh, I do know that I said that uh, 10,000 Hill Giants would be uploaded today, but I decided that that video will be going out tomorrow night, and then following that video 24 hours after, I'm going to be doing some extra Hill Giants on the side, and I'm going to be making a separate video called Loot from 100 Ober. That is the Hill Giant boss. I think that's how you pronounce that. So stay tuned, guys. Many, many more videos to come, and if you guys keep up that excellent comment section as well as the ratings, you guys can expect much, much more videos to come after that. I truly can't thank you guys enough for all the support lately. But getting back into today's video, the giant mole, as you can see, the gear for this one was max strength alongside that, the fang. Yes, I know they nerfed it, but I gotta say, I was hopping a lot of worlds here, and a lot of people are still using it here. Now, for me personally, if I had a little bit more GP in the bank, I would invest in a twisted bow. It is pretty expensive right now, and most of my bank is in items, so I don't have one, but if I did, I would definitely be using it for this video. As most of you know, I'm sure, uh, mole tends to dig underground while you're fighting him and he, he does relocate around this area so if you're using range you can definitely have some distance in between you and him and get more kills get more hits on him versus using melee but I still didn't find uh, using melee a problem I was still averaging 55 kills an hour which is pretty good I think the most efficient method is like 70 kills an hour so I wasn't too far off in my very first inventory I forgot to bring high aux but I definitely recommend that here that's why I was using the rune pouch and that's be simply because he just drops adamant long swords and mithril plate bodies as well as strength amulets and some other things so it's nice to save inventory space and just uh, pick up the stackable runes the stackable u logs as well as the iron ore and then just high out everything else one of the most notable drops here is definitely the 100 noted u logs you can receive it is a 1 in 12 and you do get 23k every single time so those definitely add up but where you're going to be making the most profit is the mole claw and the mole skin drops you can get one to three skins per kill anywhere from six 6.5 to 20k and you're always guaranteed a mole claw which is 7k now you can trade these in for bird nests and things like that but i personally just want to sell them because i think that's how you can make the most profit and if you do have the falador hard diary then you are going to be getting your mole claws and mole skins dropped in noted form so again a key reason two different reasons actually to do that diary before killing the mole i myself waited years and years to get an achievement diary cape but that's okay uh Falador Diary was actually the very first one I ever completed many years ago, so definitely worth it to do that if you're going to be investing some time here. And overall, averaging 55 kills an hour, uh, this method that I was doing, as well as if you're using any good melee setup as well as a good range setup, you can definitely make over 1 mil profit per hour here. Price of the mole claws and the mole skins is really good right now, and I don't see it going down anytime soon. Uh, one thing I will say is that a lot of people kill giant mole. I actually had a hop up over 12 worlds at one point just to find an empty world and sometimes I'd be in a world where someone was just banking real quick and I you know unintentionally crashed them so you know a lot of people do kill giant mole not too sure if people are hunting for the pet or hunting for profit but here you can definitely get both when it comes to this melee setup I gotta be honest I really do prefer it over using full DH and being 1 HP it seems like uh, it's more of a hassle to do that method instead of this uh, I also know that rapier works excellent here as well so if you have a little bit more of a bank and you're not going to be using DH, definitely look into Bandos or even Obsidian Armor, you know, whatever you can afford to have good strength bonus and a good strength weapon, good melee weapon in general, that will definitely get you some solid kills an hour. And I was able to hit 151 million HP XP, that's pretty cool, uh, you know, quite a while away from my first 200 mil, but I would like to think I'll get one.
one. Probably next year. Definitely not going to be this year. Also managed to hit the rare drop table of uh, receiving a rune battle axe, which is 1 in 1300, as well as receiving 67 nature runes, which is 1 in 1300, and an uncut diamond, 1 in, you know, 1200. So I was hitting all sorts of rare drop tables. Not the pet, though, which is really what I want to see. You know, kind of looks like a miniature pancake, and I, I really do like pancakes, waffles as well. But yeah, you know, really nice looking pet. So let's hope that we get him. I didn't really bother banking all of the things you can see at the bottom two rows. I just like seeing all the iron arrows stack up as well as the mole pieces, all the U-logs, iron ore, big coins stack from all those high alks. One thing that I did bank right away was the uh, baby mole. You know, once I got him as a drop, there he is, ladies and gentlemen, 13, 42 kill count. Uh, I mean, he really does look like a little pancake, doesn't he? I mean, that's just incredible. Uh, I believe you can also make him pink. I'm pretty sure, but I haven't done that yet. He is still the original color. So another pet to the collection. You guys just saw me get the Vedion pet. A lot of people were commenting on the Bandos video that they uh, were hoping that I got the pet. Very kind of you, but luckily I already had that one. So yeah, another uh, another pet to the collection. That is awesome. You know, really makes these 10 hour loot videos much more worthwhile. You know, they're always going to be profitable, always going to make a certain amount of money in 10 hours, but to receive an untradeable drop such as a pet is it's just really awesome. It's like getting, a, you know, a dragon kite shield from an adamant dragon or a dragon full helm from a mithril dragon. All those, you know, those are tradable. I'd probably keep it if I got it. But yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's really nice to see these unique drops in this series. I also got a dragon med helm shortly after that, which is one in 4,000. So, you know, rarer than the pet and also pretty fashionable. So I will certainly take that as well as 20 adamant javelins, which is one in 2,000. I don't really know why I'm, you know, talking about these these drops they're so irrelevant and insignificant but it is nice to know that they are rare to receive so my rng is all over the place right now and this bank tab is growing looking nicer and nicer all these hours later we are currently at 1400 kill count overall close to 400 kills in this video so far if you're curious of the overall experience i had in 10 hours here i gotta be honest it was very laid back i found myself almost afk you know even when he dug underneath the ground it was very easy to find him thanks to having those diaries completed and i was on my iron man the whole time as well so it's nice to be able to do two accounts at once and not really have to click too much on one versus the other so that's kind of a beneficial thing of the an afk able boss such as the giant mole i was also lucky enough to receive an elite clue scroll which i believe is one in 500 here so just on par with the amount of kills that i have done so far and we will save that elite casket for the end of the video hopefully get a third age item after all these years i don't know though we already got the pet so i feel like my luck is out for this one but uh very happy to see that i did not mention in the beginning of the video but you do need a light source down here i'm not sure if bringing a max cape in your inventory is good enough but i know that a fire making cape works if you have one so i imagine a max cape would too but needless to say i brought a bullseye lantern anyway so you know better safe than sorry but yeah you definitely need a light source down here i'd recommend stamina potions as well as divine super combats and prayer potions but if you even spend any minute down here without watching a guy or even without watching this video, that's something that you'll find out pretty quickly. You know, very important things to bring to make this uh, much easier for yourself. And looking at the clock right now, it just hit midnight. So this is a late night upload for you guys. Uh, tomorrow's video will be posted at 8 o'clock p.m. I feel like that gives people more of an opportunity to see it. Two videos within 24 hours, and it's just gonna get better and better. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished another one. Loot from 10 hours of the giant mole completed and honestly, I'm gonna miss this thing. I don't see any reason why I'll ever come back here ever again on this account. That's kind of sad to think of, you know, never coming back to the mole. But now I got the pet. I got pretty much everything from him and uh, two videos out of him for all these years later. So that's not too bad, I'd say. So let's go ahead and do the price check. The reason I added in these items a little slow is because I wanted to see how much money we are gonna be making without the mole claw or the mole skins included. So it looks like with everything without that is 2.1 mil. And then we go ahead and we add in the skins, if I can click correctly. And then, of course, the claws. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 12.9 million in 10 hours, which means Giant Mole is a solid 1.3 mil an hour. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and open up the Elite Clue Scroll. Hopefully get something from that. 
the supply cost was about 500k for this video so this elite clue it'll cover almost half of that which is not too bad all right so 13 mil in 10 hours time we did obtain the pet so what are you waiting for guys go check out the giant mole get some good old strength xp and just have a laid back day and make some money well thank you guys very much for watching i will see you tomorrow with another one and there's the rune light just to confirm that we did get 550 kc throughout these 10 hours truly from the bottom of my heart thank you guys for everything lately it is incredible and there's a lot more to come until next time mr no sleep out